Hey, how's it going guys? Kevin and I just got done watching Jurassic World. We are here at the Geek House in Dallas, Texas, way past my bedtime. And just so you know, there were no actual dinosaurs harmed in the making of this film. <laughs> Lots of humans were. Lots of humans. Zach, we, we've been over this. You know that was a movie, right? Those are actors. But I, but I saw him get picked up the, by the, it's, the birds. It's, it's not real. They're fine. Not real. No, they're good. Woo! All right, guys, let's jump right into it. This is Jurassic World. It's the fourth installment of the Jurassic Park series, which was originated from Steven Spielberg, which we all love. It's directed this time by Colin Trevorrow. It also stars Bryce Dallas Howard, Chris Pratt, and Ty Sipkins. Where the movie leads off is that these two boys are going off to see their aunt who runs the Jurassic World Park. And at this point, Jurassic World is a full resort has a you know golf course starbucks you go to it you know it's like the modern day dubai even has a jimmy buffett margarita margarita yeah. yeah they go there to see their aunt to go see the rides and see the dinosaurs but the little bit of the premise of this movie is that dinosaurs are kind of boring um it's 20 years since the original jurassic park happened some people died now it's prosperous but Really, the premise of this movie was, their idea was a kid texting as a T-Rex is eating a cow. Meaning yeah. that no one's kind of interested in it. So what do they need to do? They need to genetically modify a dinosaur and to boost up ratings for the park. Yeah, show us, show us the next big attraction at this, at this huge theme park that Jurassic World has turned into. We, we saw where Jurassic Park was kind of the Disneyland. Jurassic World... That's, that's a full-blown theme park. And it kind of blew my mind because I was like, I my mind was blown watching the movie and I'm like, dude, watch, there's a dinosaur in front of you and the guy's just on his phone. So that's the premise of the movie. And then you have Chris Pratt who's in charge of, I guess, behavior specialist, kind of psychologist of the dinosaurs a little bit. Yeah. He's ex-military, comes in, and he is actually the one who's probably the most grounded. He's the one who understands these animals. And understands that they're living beings, and we all love Chris Pratt. I'm sure half the people will see this movie just because of him. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. Let's jump into it. Kevin, what were some of the good things you really thought about this? Well, the, the great thing about this film for me is that it really takes you back to the, the, the wonder that you feel in that first film. If, if you go back and watch Jurassic Park today, man, it's just a huge experience, and they really bring that experience back to the big screen with this one. I mean, they even throw in some of the old score, and it, you, it, just, it just throws you right into the world of Jurassic Park. I felt the same way, and one of the fears of our, you know, going into new movies, how much CGI is going in to be in it. One big discussion with the new Star Wars was, like, more practical effects. I felt this was a good balance between, there is some really good practical, really good CGI. Um, I feel like this is a really good family movie. It's a good balance. It's a really good balance. And it's an adventure. Oh, yeah. I feel a little slow going off, but I feel jumping into it. I was having fun from the second part of the movie. Yeah, it, it, it is, it second, is a second. little slow to develop, and, and it, is, it does get a little predictable at some points. I mean, we can always nitpick and say, well, they could have changed this here and there, but, I mean, once they get into the action, it keeps you at the edge of your seat like, for the rest of the Like game. 11. Like yeah. Spinal Tap 11. All, all the way to 11, yeah. It, it, it's not a Christopher Nolan, Mad Max. It's not going to win true, an Oscar. True, yeah. But it's a, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. I'll, yeah. I'll say that. Like, I cannot say Transformers, you know, 4 is a good movie. Nor who, well... Who can? Some... I don't know. Some people that I don't would, know what a movie is, man. <laughs> I don't know. Like, okay, so 
the the robot T Rex from Transformers Four. If you were if you were unfortunate enough to see that movie, Grimlock has nothing has nothing. Oh, okay, yeah, nothing compared to what you're gonna see with Jurassic World. One thing that we touched upon, which we talked about a little bit, was the first Jurassic Park was kind of a scary movie. It's kind of a horror flick. Yeah. I get a sense of that in here, but I would not have an issue. I seriously wouldn't have an issue taking my daughter to this movie. I wouldn't. Um, there's a little bit of product placement, which sometimes can take me out of it. Yeah, they, they definitely had to set that up a little bit, but, I mean, you know, you got to pay for a movie somehow. Yeah. Um, I would definitely say go see Jurassic World. Go see it before next weekend you have Inside Out coming, which we will do a review on that, and we've heard from... Several of our sources, it's Oscar worthy, like up and here's Inside Out. So go see it. Take the whole family. Um, really suggest it. Kevin, would you suggest people going to see this movie in theaters? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it's definitely worth a buy. I mean, it's it's a great ride from start to finish. It really kind of takes you back, but then brings you into the new age at the same time. And watch for our spoiler review. Bo's not here today. Because he's battling wildcats out in the wild right now. No, he's actually right now, he's watching the movie currently as we speak. Um, we're going to do a full spoiler review, roundtable discussion. We'd love for you to join us and kind of revel in how good the movie was. Because there's a lot of points I want to talk about. There's a lot of key scenes that I just want to like bounce off the wall and just nerd out. So guys, please watch for that. Thank you so much for watching our review. You guys have a great day. Thank you so much. Zach, what the, what are you doing right now, dude? I'm pranking. All the cool kids are doing it. Leave me alone. All right, you got it.